So lately when I've been going out fishing, uh, I'll, I'll catch a, a fish every now and then or a couple of fish when I go out, but I haven't really been achieving the objectives that I set out to do for each video. And the fish that I'm catching, they don't really fit in with the narrative or the subject of the videos. And those fish end up being put into my archives here. So since I haven't really been able to complete a video lately, this is basically a compilation of clips that I shot throughout the year. So I still have a lot more clips, even some from last year that I haven't gone through and haven't used yet. So uh, yeah, this first part I'm going to start ranting about a, a, an idiotic rude comment I got. And then after that it's going to get into the fishing. So uh, stay tuned and if you're interested, most of the baits that I use in this video are from Runkle. And there's an Amazon link in the description. Check it out. Click the link. Check out their products. It'll help out my channel a lot. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. And, I mean, it's still fall, even though it's been pretty cold. We've been having our winter weather lately. So I'm hoping the fish are still going to be actively eating, getting ready for winter. And when I say that, I don't mean they're putting on a layer of fat to stay warm like some morons think. I literally mean they're, they're eating more, so they're going to get bigger. That's how it works. When you eat more, you get bigger. That's what I mean when the fish are fattening up. Here, I'll even show you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's see. Especially in the winter when the metabolism slows down. Metabolism mean, is the uh, speed at which the food digests. So if it's digesting faster, they've got a higher metabolism. If it's slower, it's a slower, lower metabolism. And in the winter, they have lower metabolisms. That way they can keep their energy and stuff without having to move around as much. And what that means is they're not digesting as much. So when they eat something, it stays there for a lot longer. And when that happens, fish just get bigger. They're not putting on layers to stay warm. They're just getting bigger. Like, here's an example. Look, look at my hand here. Let's say my hand weighs a pound. My hand is a one pound bass. And it eats a rock. You know, well, a bluegill or something. In this case, it's a rock. That rock does not cease to exist. That rock is still there. It's inside my hand. And my hand now weighs one pound and one rock. The weight of the rock is still there. It doesn't go anywhere. Add another one. It's even bigger now. Add another one. It's even bigger now. And the metabolism's slow, so the rocks aren't going anywhere. So yes, the fish are getting fatter. That's how it works. Oh, that one had some nice skips on it. That was about six or seven skips. Got him. Got one. Yeah. Skinny Sanko. Yeah. There we go. Felt like he was going to be a lot bigger than he was. <laughs> Oh, right there, too. Yeah. Saw that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right there at the surface. Look at all the guides are coming over. Man, he's pulled that out far. He was, there he is. Cause he was right here at the boat when he took it. Yeah. I was going slow too, or three. Yeah. I think he followed it for a while. That's a nice one. Mm -hmm. that white? That's maybe. Yeah. Of course, when I was throwing that, nothing was interested. Ooh, yep, I see two of them. Two slicks. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> Where's he at? Oh, I want to go again. <laughs> you want to start waking up? Yeah. There we go. I got control. Man. <laughs> so you think? <laughs> Yeah. Ugh. Interesting yeah, spots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right in the corner of the mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're going to come and set up right next to us. Hmm? They're going to come and set up right next to us. Right on top of the slicks. Mm -hmm. It's the problem when you actually catch something and they're not. Yeah. You should start a guide service, Greg. Whatever their prices are, you do a dollar less. <laughs> yeah, he's hooked on the for you. It's kind of Are they uh spawning? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking load, come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. You're gonna release it and the guys are gonna get mad. <laughs> Why would you do that? I can't reproduce any of these. What do you think that is? Uh, That's a 26. 26, 26 yeah. maybe 27, 28. Alright, thank you, let me catch you. It's a nice fat one. Yeah. Not very long, but he was strong. <laughs> Again, Greg. Yeah, it takes a long time to float back up to the surface. Is that on the Redfish Magic again? Yeah. <laughs> That one dude just staring. And look, there's all kinds of movement around out here now. What do we do if we both hook up at the same time? Look, there's another one over there. And over there. Look at that. Oh, that's you over there. <laughs> we stay with trees, so. Yeah. Come on, Ed, man. You gotta get on the board here. Look at that. All those bait fish. Yeah. Oh, you're under me. <laughs> He's not done yet. Oh damn, look at that one. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, missed him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He hooked onto the net, that's why I was, I didn't even grab him in the net, I grabbed the, the hook. At least it is, you can take them apart and get it unhooked, untangled. Yeah. You the rod trap, right? Yeah. That's a bigger one, but... No, that one's longer. Bigger. I see a lot of movement out there. Yeah. All the bait fish are surrounding us because we were the ones not moving around. Picture here, bring this in. Damn, I'm still kind of far out there. Yeah, <laughs> You're gonna get caught on the, the upper drain? Oh no, I'm using the redfish magic again. Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'll tell you things, but just, you know, I didn't make it a Oh, the camera wasn't even on. Oh, nah, it was on. <laughs> oh, there we go. Something running with it. Doesn't look like it's very big. Sunfish. There we go. Got one. What do we got? Oh, tell me that's a sunfish. Nope, it's a cichlid. Bunch of cichlids hanging out down there and this is the one I came up with. Not a bad cichlid. starting to hear thunder too so I'm really running out of time here there we go not a big one but green sunfish Oh, there was some lightning. There's a thunder. And there's a fish. Little bitty one. Oh, it's a sunfish. Right when the thunder came. Yeah, if this was any other park in the city or any other body of water, I might risk it in the rain like this because, I mean, it's not, it's raining, but it's not raining super hard. But this particular area tends to flood really quickly. So I kept messing around and now I might not be able to get out of here. Following the trail, the quickest route back to the truck. Hopefully they haven't locked the gate. They're going to be closing all this off pretty soon. All right, so had a uh, package delivered from, uh, from Runkle, I uh, I opened it up somewhere else. The back, the box is all smashed and stuff, and I put everything in this GameStop bag. Uh, came with a rod sock or rod glove, whatever you want to call them. It's pretty cool. Don't actually have any of those. Also came with a uh, reel cover protector. Matches that. Definitely gonna use those, especially when I gotta put them in the back of a truck or something. Uh, pack of lures here Runkle Pro Bite 
run gill shads. They look like some kind of a fluke, but the split tail is open farther than it would be on a fluke. And it came with another jersey. I've already got a red jersey. I wear these at my tournaments. Or, well, I wear the red one at my tournaments. I'm going to start wearing this one, too. It's got all the anglermall.com. It's got different companies on there. It's cool. I, I've, I've seen this website before. I wasn't. I didn't know Runkle was affiliated with them. That's pretty cool. Uh, propelled by Passion Anchor Box. Let's see what the back looks like. The sleeves got a bunch of logos on it too. Some, pretty much the same thing on the back. Oh. There's a fish. It's a bass. Nice. It's a little dark over here. Camera probably can't even see it. <laughs> nice. Best bass I've ever caught out of this spot. I mean, it's only like maybe 11, 12 inches, but. Yeah, I don't think my camera my camera can't even pick him up, but or it doesn't look like you can pick it up from here. But here you go right next to the mattress. <laughs> okay, someone's got it. Some got him. I might have let him have it, have it a little bit too long, but finally, there we go. Okay, he's not too bad. N not hooked too bad anyway. Down on the cheek. There we go. Pretty little quad. There we go. Take it. Come on. Got him. Finally. Man. Back to dead sticking it. Another little one, but uh, there's just the bites are few and far between. But the only time I get bites is dead sticking it. It's barely even hooked. There's a bite. Got him, got him, got him. Finally. Ah. So hard to get a bite around here. Just this one, I was just dragging it slowly across the bottom. Finally, they're all about that same size, though. Seems like most of the fish you catch out of this river are all about this same size. Oh, got him. Got one. Green sunfish. This place had a couple of major fish kills where it almost completely wiped out the population. So it's possible there's only sunfish left. We're looking to see if there's any bass left in here. It's been a while since that happened. And it doesn't get stocked or anything. What's in here is natural. Got one. What do we got here?
Got a little one. It's a bass. <laughs> Tiny little bass. So. Good looking little bass too. Pretty. Oh, something swirled on it right there for sure. Oh, I got him. I got him. He chased it for a while there. So the small crankbait works. All right, chill. Look how scrawny this bass is, though. Whoa. It's got energy, though. It's good. There we go. And you see all the swirls from the other bigger fish out there. But, got one on the small crankbait. Oh, there we go. A little bit, it's actually probably about the same, but hell, that might actually be the same fish. Let's see. Not the same fish, because he doesn't have that hole there, but he did tear up my bait. So it's only fair that I caught you. Because he tore off the tail from my swim bait. There you go, the bass are about average size and they are definitely going for the smaller baits. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Pull and drag. So, something went after the worm there. Fighting like a pretty good one. Yep, that's one of the day. Off the wrinkle worm. <laughs> kind of caught me off guard. I'm not even sure if I was pointing in the right direction with the camera. There we go. That's a nice, healthy, solid fish. Not very long, really not very big. Maybe, I'm gonna say it's a pound and a quarter. Let's get a wet measurement on him real quick. First cast with that green, with the wrinkle worm too. Oh, he is a keeper too. He's 14 and a half inches. He's longer than I thought he was gonna be. Had to get a new scale because the Taurus broke mine. This one's not as nice. Come on. There we go. I was saying about a pound and a quarter. He's actually up over a pound and a half. 157. That's pretty cool. On the Runkle Finesse Worm. If you're a interested in any of the baits I'm using today, I'm going to link them all down in the description.